I'm going to tell you the story today behind this picture of an emperor penguin taken in 1902 and that picture on the wall over there taken of three men having their photo taken in 1911. It's the story of Edward Wilson and the penguin's egg. Now Edward Wilson was in 1910 13 on Scott's last expedition. He was his head of scientific department and one of his closest friends and he would go on to die with Scott on the way back from the pole. In 1902, however, he was only the assistant doctor on Scott's first expedition. He was also there as a naturalist, an ornithologist and an artist. Now this picture was taken by Reginald Skelton who was Scott's chief engineer, when he went on a trip round to Cape Crozier to leave some letters in their emergency mailbox. Now this was the first ever breeding emperor penguin rookery that had been discovered, and it was a major scientific coup. Skelton took lots of photographs of the penguins, including this one, and in fact brought back three live chicks to the ship to see the men. And they were greeted there with great hilarity and astonishment in equal measure, particularly by Wilson. Now, what's so exciting about emperor penguins, you probably ask, they're only penguins. Well, in the early 20th century, one of the great scientific quests was to prove beyond doubt Darwin's theory of evolution. And in the absence of definitive fossil record, it was thought maybe there was evidence in the embryology of the um, animals instead. At the time, the theory could be that ontology, which is the development of an individual, prefigured phylogeny, which is the development of a species. And thus, if you found a so-called primitive race, such as penguins, you might be able to prove from their embryos that there was a link between dinosaurs and birds. Now, Wilson was very keen to try and prove this theory. And when he saw that Skelton had found chicks in October, he reasoned to himself, aha, if I go back in September next year, I will find eggs, not chicks. So back he went. Unfortunately, the eggs had all hatched and there were still chicks. He therefore had to come to the gruesome conclusion that actually the penguins laid their eggs in the winter and that therefore another trip was going to be called for. However, he was over in Cape Crozier now with his equipment and it was an excellent time for him to observe the emperor penguins in their natural habitat, what their habits were, their lifestyles, how they cared for their chicks, and he took lots of photographs and drew lots of pictures. He, of course, at this stage had the gruesome thought that he was going to have to go back to Cape Crozier again, this time in the winter months. But perhaps happily for fate and him at this stage, the Admiralty, who were getting particularly impatient by Scott being stuck in the Antarctic all this time, summoned Discovery home and Wilson along with them, but he didn't forget the chicks or the eggs. <laughs>